If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Let us confess our sin to God, who is faithful and just, and who has promised to forgive us our sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Most merciful God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not trusted you with our whole heart. We have not loved one another in deed and in truth. In your compassion, forgive our sin, and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ, our light and our truth. Amen. With joy I proclaim to you that Almighty God, rich in mercy, abundant in love, forgives you all your sin and grants you newness of life in Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Turn into joy. 
When a woman is in labor, she has pain because her hour has come. But when her child is born, she no longer remembers the anguish because of the joy of having brought a human being into the world. So you have pain now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. On that day you will ask nothing of me. Very truly I tell you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So much has been written on the topic of suffering and of pain. And this passage here may be a maybe one of the best examples of something good that comes out of pain at the end. Now, I've never given birth, but I understand <laughs> and from watching, it is a painful process. At the end, there is um, a deliverable in which we can rejoice. So I guess the question today is, can good come from pain? So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do this because it's raining on the keyboard. Yes, well, you say, so you say that very definitively, Margaret. Well, because I believe that the two very worst things that ever happened to me led to some of the most wonderful things that ever happened to me. If my mother hadn't died, I would never have come to America. And after my husband died, was when I had the opportunity to go to Washington, D.C. and have the wonderful time I had up there working. So I look at it that way, out of bad comes good. It's a healthy way to look at it. Anybody else? Well, I, I don't think it equates with childbirth, but I've heard the expression, <laughs> no pain, no gain. <laughs> 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 but you know, I, I think there, uh, I, I think of like a rose bush, you cut away, or great grapevines, you cut away and the new growth produces fruit, the pruning process. And I think in our lives, sometimes cutting away the old will bring all new things forward. And that's very typical. I guess typical. Jesus yeah. wrote about that all the time, about cutting, cutting, exactly, yeah. yeah, cutting the pruning back. And that's yeah. painful to do sometimes. I can't help but think, and so many people have said this, that in this pandemic, this 14 month wilderness, so many good things have come out of this. Um, we've had lots of loss too, but that we, but there are, sometimes we're changed in good ways. It's with us always, pain and suffering are with us always. Um, and those questions will still remain. Why do we suffer? There's a whole book about that, Job. And um, unfortunately, we don't always get the answers that we, that satisfies. But we do know that God's with us. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Jerusalem, my happy home, when shall I come to this blessing. Almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Praise to you, O God of mercy, thanks be to you forever. Praising God, the weak and lowly, thanks be to you forever. From all fold you Thanks be to you forever. Truth and 
and justice you have taught us. Thanks be to you forever. Strong is your faithfulness. Strong is your love. Remembering your covenant of life with us. Praise to you, O God of mercy. Thanks be to you forever. Raising high the weak and lowly. Thanks be to you forever. Thanks be to you forever. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jerusalem, my happy home, when child.